everyone, Diane here, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to paint some Christmas candles and I'm going to do them on a sheet of Meaden watercolour paper, hot press, 100% cotton. Great paper, not too expensive, 10% off if you buy it using the code Diane10 when you go to their website. Um, highly recommend this paper, comes in hot press, cold press and rough and in three different sizes, can't say fairer than that. Um, I'm finding this to be quite an amenable sort of surface to work on, so recommended. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some um, funky doodle candles, something like that. And I've got a pencil here, which is just a 3B, which is, um, looks like an American one, Sanford. I think that's American, isn't it? Don't know where that came from. Um, and I'm just going to very quickly sketch basically three rectangles and it doesn't matter what they look like. Any three rectangles will do. They don't have to have straight sides because there are no rules in painting anymore. They don't have to all be sitting on a level with one another because there are no rules in painting anymore. And um, I think I might have one tall one like that and one medium like this and one, we'll try not to make it thinner at the bottom, that's a bit ridiculous. Um, yeah, and so these are cylinders, so we give them a bit of perspective by sort of constructing a bit of an ellipse. And then we're going to put some nice, fantastic flames, bigger than they usually are, in the middle there. And then what I'm going to do is paint around the whole thing in a nice dark color. I'm not going to do that until after I've painted the candles though. So I have my um, Kuretake set here and I'm going to use a draw well brush um, and I'm just going to sort of go into the colours in, uh, I don't know, anyhow really. And you have to have red, don't you, for a start for candles. But I'm going to do them sort of um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. But the idea is to do um, uh, not all one colour. So I'm going to start with a stripe of red like that. And then let's clean off my brush and go for Forest Gump Green. Maybe I want something that's going to be nice and uh, punchy. Nice and punchy, so green, and then maybe maybe we'll put some yellow at the bottom. Cadmium yellow, something like that. And then we're going to put line work over the top of it, I think. We'll see what happens. And I do want it to run a bit like that. And then the second one, um, let's do that one in a darker red, perhaps more of a pinky red, something like that. This is just a bit of fun, guys. It's nice, if you haven't used hot press paper before, this uh, Meaden one is a nice introduction to it because it's not too smooth, but it gives you the idea of smoothness. It's quite, quite different to paint on smooth paper than it is to paint on cold press. And the nice thing about this paper is that it is, um, it is smoother, but it's not so smooth that everything goes out of control, which can happen. So I've put three different greens on there. And uh, obviously it's been a bit hot in the house where this candle was living because it's kind of melted a bit. Um, then I'm going to put some yellow here, and I'm starting with lemon yellow. Um, I know these aren't going to be realistic candle flames, but they're gonna start off with yellow like this. Then I'll put some orange in. Um, this is cadmium yellow and a bit of cadmium orange. And it doesn't matter if there are lines where you've done your drawing, that won't show when it's finished. 
Okay, so that's the beginning of that. And the next thing to do is going to be to, well, I'm just going to put a little bit of red in there as well, since I've got red handy. Next thing to do is going to be to put something here at the top. Uh, that's going to have to be greenish. A bit darker than that. Uh, let's go for some blackish. Go. Now I'm going to let that dry. And then when that's dry, I'm going to paint in the background. And I just wanted to mention, I talked about this in previous video, but I'm going to say it again. Um, this is my new arrangement for my Kuretake paints. Same paints, I've taken them out of the box. This is the box they come in, isn't it? I know quite a lot of people have got them. So this is the box that they came in. And I've been using them in there in their normal place for quite a while. And um, I have enjoyed using them tremendously because I think they're great paints. And what I've been doing is um, putting them in here, so taking out the few that I was going to use and using this as the palette and the mixing area, but that has begun to irritate me a little bit. So what I've done, this is the lid to a Meaden um, studio palette. It's the lid and what I've done is taken that off of the palette and then I've used some blue tack to hold these in place around the outside edges. And all the ones that I normally use, ones I use frequently, they all fit in there nicely. And the great thing is that now, when I want to pick up a color, I can just, I can go into the paint and I can try it out here so that I know that that's purple and not what I thought it was, which was blue. So, and then I can do the mixing here and everything else. I'm going to find that easier. So it's just a thought. If you happen to have one of these or any kind of tray like that, that you could fit them into, you can take them out of your box, especially as the box starts to get a bit old um, and a bit tatty. So now I'm going to just find myself with a slightly bigger brush. Let's find a, uh, this is a number 14. This could be one of my Craftamo brushes, but I don't want to um, completely switch over to those ones because I like my draw well brushes as well. Um, so I'm going to pick up some indigo. This is indigo. And then I'm going to sit down. Hopefully the cat's not on my chair. And then I'm going to um, do the background and hope that it looks good. It won't matter if it runs a little bit, but I will try to keep away a little bit from, from the uh, flame. Indigo, isn't that great color? just makes everything look so, so uh, punchy. It's just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. I'm grabbing a moment to paint because it's just stopped raining. It's probably going to start again in a minute, but the sun's come out. And uh, I know it's quite nice to hear the rain, especially if you live in a country where it doesn't do it very often. Can't imagine what that would be like. Um, but it, it does interfere a little bit with the sound on the video, so it's best if we don't film while it's pouring because we have a, a wonderful purpose-built studio here, but it has a metal roof with less insulation than perhaps it should have had, could have had. And so therefore, when the water hits the roof, it's like being in a tin can, a bucket.
as you will have noticed. It must have been crazy in here when we had the hurricane the other day. It was bad enough in the house. I thought the whole roof of the house was going to come off. It was not just a regular storm, by the way, for anyone who's wondering why I'm constantly bemoaning the fact that we had this weather. It wasn't a, a regular, it was the worst storm that Brittany, which is where I live in France, has ever, within recorded memory, had. Now that's pretty bad. <laughs> Right. Okie dokie, so I'm going to have to just quickly dab in there to get that blue off that's running. I knew I should have dried it really, but it doesn't matter because we can paint over the top of that. Just lift it out. If you look, I'm going to just literally put the hairdryer on that and dry it. Okay, now that's dry. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab a white gel pen or anything you like, really. And we'll do a little bit of um, background doodling. Uh, can you hear the cockerel? Um, so let's have a few kind of, you know, stars, little stars. I'm not sure that he should be out, but uh, anyway, he's obviously happy. Um, okay, so we'll do some stars and we'll do some snowflakes. And remembering that snowflakes have six legs always. And, uh, well, I'm not an expert on them, but I do know they need six. And that, uh, that's roughly a kind of snowflakey type of thing. I think that will do. And then we can have snow. We could put that on with spatter if you want, if you want to do the snow that way. Um, we could have a white holly leaf, why not? Any kind of doodles, whatever you fancy. Just a little bit of fun. And we'll have some more pine. Needles here, and uh, they always look best wherever it's darkest, which is one of the reasons for having nice dark background. It stands out quite well. So we'll do that, and uh, let's have another one of these down here. And maybe we'll have a holly leaf here. By the time this Christmas is over, you'll all be drawing holly in your sleep. I know I go to bed at night now and dream about Christmas cards. What am I going to do tomorrow? Okay, another star there. Okay, now um, I'm going to take my gold pen which is a similar thing. This one's a Pentel, I think, because, well, no, Uniball. This is a Uniball Signo. <clears throat> and um, we'll put some spirals because they're the sign of peace, apparently. found this out recently. And then I'm going to go around the outside of my flame with this gold. So that's why I said it didn't matter because doesn't. <laughs> there we are. And then we'll come down the candle as well, filling in that gap with gold. Why, you might say? Why are you doing that? Well, I don't know. I just wanted to. Okay. And let's have a flower here. And a holly leaf here. and um, a pine 
here and obviously you can do whatever you want. I'm going to put some stripes here, just like this, and some circles. I was listening to um, something, a podcast, I think it was, um, on the radio, on the radio, <laughs> on the, um, on YouTube, I think, yesterday. Um, it, it was something on the BBC on Radio 2 or 4 or 6 uh, with um, that chap. Now, what's his name? Um, Louis Theroux. He, 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 uh, what's the word? He was projected to fame when he did a program some years ago now about America. He went to America and interviewed in, um, American people and um, he became incredibly popular instantly. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, he said, um, someone said to him something along the lines of what do you do to... Um, you know, for what do you like to do? And he said, oh, I'm one of those people, one of those men, and I don't know why it should only be men, because I'm the same and I expect you are too. Every now and again, I, I don't want to be with people. I, uh, I like to be alone and I go into my garage or somewhere like that and um, I sort things out. I arrange things. And he said, it's because, you know what it is? He said, it's it's um, dissipating nervous energy to put all my nuts and bolts and screws into jars. And um, I suddenly thought, oh, that's what it is. When I come into the studio and I can't paint um, for whatever reason, what I need to do is to dissipate my nervous energy by organizing things. So that's what I've spent the first three hours of today doing dissipating my nervous energy and now I'm ready to paint and this is what's happening. So I'm not sure whether it was a success or not, but anyway, there we go. Um, thank you, Louis. One of our cats is called Louis. Yes, he's mad as a hatter as well. Um, right, so on this one before I had put Holly all the way down, so I'm going to do the same thing. Like that. This is going to be more than 15 minutes and it doesn't warrant it, really. But there we are, can't do much about that. I'm going to put some berries. And I don't know what I'm going to put on the red one at the moment. What am I going to put on the red one? It's very important, isn't it, the red one? Um, okay, let's just put some sprigs of nice berries like this. And some leaves, maybe. Sort of like mistletoe, yeah, something like that. This is where you get creative and you just do whatever comes to mind. A few more stars, perhaps. You can never have too many stars, can you? Right then, I think that's probably about it. Um, we could put some white inside here, for example, just to liven that up a little bit. And we could have some white berries here. Oh, there's so many things you could do. And you could put white inside here. Probably could do with a few birds, actually, but there's no space. So we'll call it a day. 
and I will say goodbye from me and uh, I'll see you soon. Happy Christmas. Bye everybody. Bye bye.